All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. We're back. Today we're gonna to be training legs and we're gonna be focused on, uh, I would say a little bit more quad sweep, a little bit more kind of upper thigh, rectus femoris. Um, and you go, and every rep has to be a full rep. So lightweight, add a plate, do six reps. You just keep going up a plate until you can't get your six with good form. Typically, we'll do, what do you think, Brett, six, seven sets? Yeah. So usually, it'll be six or seven sets. But when you can't use full form, the set is done, it's terminated, okay? Um, it's pretty brutal. Again, we call this our speed warm-up. It's a warm-up. And, you know, for someone who's in a, a hurry training or they're on limited time, it's good, too. We're just doing it today just purely for intensity. Now, there's one thing I want you to do, you to do a little different. I want you to pull your toes back on the first, say, four sets, just to get your hip flexors, your rectus femoris specifically, a little bit more focus on the sets. And then after that, don't even worry about it. Just just use a four inch motion and flex your quads. It'll get really hard after that to, to do that with your foot. So just on the first four. All right, All right let's go to work. One, two. Let's go. Hit again, hit again. One, two, bump right, breath. Three, come on. Four, come on. Five, come on. Okay, last six right here. Help her out, Brett. Last six right here, this is it. Help her out, Brett. Let's go. Six, one, come on. Two, let's go, let's go. Come on. Three, come on. Four, two more, come on. Five, help around back, come on, last one. Six, there we go. There we go, good job. Uh, warmed up. Good job. Real. Holy crazy. See what I'm saying? That's the warm up and the set's all in one. So we're gonna do some squats in the Smith machine now, really quad focused. And I went outside, we have construction going on here, so I grabbed a couple, t couple boards. This one is the one we're gonna use, the little one. This one has got a little bit too high of a heel lift. A lot of people use those prime wedges. And the, the high ones just put a little too much stress on our knees. Prime makes a, a much um, smaller angle too. And this will be closer to that. So um, I use those smaller prime wedges out of Dave's. And I really like them. So we're gonna go for a, just a little bit of a heel lift here. Not the big board. So these will feel really good. Come on, good tempo, control. Good tempo, control. Good, keep that back tight up a little higher. Two, three, four. Come on, five, six, seven. Come on, eight, four more, nine. Come on, let's work. 10, two more, two more, 11. And 12, one, two, three, four. Okay, six more, slow it down though. Slow it down, slow it down. Go, slow, slow on the way down. All the way up, all the way up. Up, all the way, three, back down. Up, all the way, four, five. Let's go to 10, six. Come on, four more, four more, let's go. Come on, Steve. come on, try. Seven, come on, come on, lower those up. legs, eight. Come on, two more. Two more. One more. Get ready to pull. Pull court. Now give me six more. Now I want you to go lower, deeper, deeper. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Two. Slow it down. Slow it down. Three. Straight back. Come on. Four. Come on. Hit it again. Hit it again. Come on. Let's go. Five. Another one. Come on. Six. Four more and you're done. Four more and you're done. You Come on, let's go. Come on. Seven. Drive. Come on. Eight. 
Two more. more. Come on. Nine. Last one. And ten. ten. Good job. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's how you work right there. Okay, so on these, we did two sets of 12, where you leave some reps in the tank, you're working up to your big set. And then on the big set, uh, we did a drop. So Teresa did 12, she dropped some weight, she did another 10. She dropped some weight, she did another, did another 10. And if you notice, she was using a real good tempo, real controlled, a lot of constant tension. She came all the way up and we needed to get a little bit of air to get, some, to get a few more reps, but that is a real good way to target your quads. So really, really tough set there to finish it off before we move on to our next exercise. So one thing I want to mention, we're in, um, we're in a barn right now with no air conditioning. It's really hot. You don't need to rush through these sets. You need to take your time. Um, plus, it's really, really hot. So if you guys, a lot of you have told me you train in like your own home gym and barns and stuff since um, it'll get really warm and hot if you don't have air conditioning. Make sure you all take your time. Um, what we do is we've got like ice cold water, rub it on the back of your neck, pour the water on the back of your neck. Um, make sure you stay cool. No rush, no rush on your sets. There's no benefit to resting 30 seconds doing a set again. Um, unless you're doing a warm up, you're supersetting. So. Just a couple things for you guys that are training in a, a really hot environment. Four. Two more and you're done. Come on. Five. Last one. And up, 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 up. Six. Good set. Good set. Blow it out. 17, 18, 19, and 20. That's good right there. So we're doing something here for Teresa that's a little more specialized. Um, we're getting in, it kills two birds with one stone. We're getting in a little extra ab work. Plus her lower back was a little bit tight from that last set of squats, which is very normal when you're doing that many reps. Even though we're on the Smith machine with our back straight, it's still hard. When you do the crunches, blood will pull around out your lower back into your abs and you'll feel your uh, lower back loosen up almost instantly. We used to do sets of 50 to 100 on a hyper extension bench. And um, I remember like I had to sit there before I could drive home because my lower back hurts so bad. I bet you a lot of you guys watching this video have had that happen. Your lower back is so tight. If you just flip over and you do some crunches, you'll be amazed at how your lower back loosens up. You'll be amazed. So extra ab work for Teresa, plus it's helping her lower back feel better. And if you notice, now we're going super deep on these. She's doing a complete full range of motion. This is what I, this is what I love about the pendulum squat. With a regular squat, sometimes those really deep reps can tax people's lower back, but your back is protected on this. So sometimes people think, well, you know, John doesn't really like a full range of motion. No, I do. It just has to be on the right exercises. So this is a great way to really target your legs with a complete full range of motion, but your back is supported. So to me, it makes more sense to do these with a complete, you know, crazy full range of motion. It might be maybe right over here. Get the four plates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like what Otherwise. you're thinking. <laughs> So on this, uh, on the pendulums, we did three slow sets of six with a really good full range of motion. So you also have to pay attention to the, your surroundings. So it's really hot in here today. Teresa just did a hard drop set on the squats. Um, not every set needs to be crazy like that, all right? As much as I enjoy sets like that, it's not productive to do every set like that. Plus you have heat today. You gotta be a little bit more careful so what we did here is we really emphasized a real good four range motion. Look how deep she's going, she's coming up all the way. And we're loading, it's a heavy weight, it's a good tempo. It's more traditional, you know, the three sets of six. Normally we might do eight to 10, but I like that nice tempo we are doing, so I wanna do sets of six. And uh, it's just simple four range of motion, loading the legs. That's it, really nothing fancy, but I just wanted to tell you kind of why we did that. So now it's time to move on. We'll do, a, we'll do one set of pond lunges. I got, I got like a little sports the something. goal is for us to get all the way around the pond. It's a tag team. Uh, 
tag team, just like the Road Warriors. For those of you who are Road Warriors fans, the old people like me. Ultimate Warriors. Ultimate Warriors. So here we go. Woo! Pond lunge. We're only doing one set. It can't be that bad. When one person tires out, the next person goes. Hands above your head. Yeah. 39 and go. Is there any goal? <laughs> no, no, I got 40 steps. Six, seven, eight, three, Brett, nine, 40. Tag you. Go, Brett. Yeah. 38. Careful. 39. And 40. Okay. So we got 40, three sets of 40 steps. So around the pond, it was really three, three sets. Brett was shortest set until the end, he got it. So eight sets of 40. So it was about 320 steps. Around the pond, was about 320 steps. Maybe someday we can get it to where we can just go one full set by ourselves. One, five second hold, five, four, three, flex your butt, flex your butt, flex your butt, two, one, and done. Good job, good job. So we wanted to hit a little glutes today. So we, we did this uh, hip thrust machine here, the booty builder, and we did three sets of 10. And then on the last set, we threw in a three second ISO hold on every single rep to really drive in uh, the contraction on those glutes. She felt them really, really good. You actually get a butt pump from these. So uh, four sets here. Now we're gonna uh, throw in a little bit of hamstring as well. As you can see, this was a real quad heavy day, but we still wanna do some glutes and hams. So that's it for glutes. Now we're gonna do uh, some dumbbell stiff legs for hams. So when you feel this is stopped and the only movement is coming from here, you've went too far. Like we want maximum stretch on the hams, but no, no. I mean, you're going to get some stress on your lower back, but we want to maximize the stretch on the ham. Keep the dumbbells in it even closer than that even. Hips back, hips back, hips back. There you go. Right there, now come up and squeeze your glutes. Three, four, that's excellent right there. Okay, finishing with a real simple exercise here for four sets of 10. It's a dumbbell, stiff legged deadlift. The key on this for hams is to just really push your hips back and keep your back flat. Um, and what I tell people is if you're trying to emphasize hams on this, when your hips stop going back, you've hit maximal stretch. If you keep going down and the only thing moving is your lower back, you've really kind of turned into a lower back exercise. So what I emphasize to Teresa here is hips back, hips back, flat back. You don't want your back rounded. Just stretch those hamstrings and then Sometimes I have people come up three quarters of the way, but I'm having her come up and flex her glutes just because it's just kind of an add-on to glutes. You can do these with a band. I'll show you that one of these days where you stand inside of a band and drive against it for your glutes a little bit more, but she just did hip thrust. She doesn't need any extra tips on this one or extra tricks. Um, so that's it for this, four sets of 10. That's gonna wrap it up for the day. This was a really, really tough workout. So give this a shot, let us know what you think. Again, it's, it's very quad heavy, but really good, really good workout today. So I appreciate y'all's support. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.